Hello folks, welcome to Orlando Vlog Show. And um for those that have seen my this is for my mainly for my Facebook page, my Facebook friends and everything like that. In concern of my pops, my stepdad, uh who yesterday took a nasty turn. Uh there was a lot of trauma drama here yesterday. Uh, but to begin with, right now, he's uh, stabilizing. He's improved a little bit, okay, since they've been giving him treatments at the hospital. But now the ugly part. Well, yesterday was really hell around here and went through hell for me, my mom, my little brother, and my stepbrother. Although he's, you know, but my stepbrother did a good thing. I'll get to that. But for now... Uh, my pops is resting comfortably in the hospital. They treated him. He's improved a little bit. Um, my brother went to see him earlier on. I don't want to intrude on him because I don't want to agitate him, you know, because he's still in pain. He's been in a lot of pain lately, muscle pain related, and it, it, it's just excruciating for him to a point where he was yelling. And I, I, that's one of the reasons why I, I did want, not want to do any shows here until the time was right. Um, well, he's still in the hospital now. He's getting treated. Um, he recognized my brother real well, but he's getting very co incoherent, uh, from dementia. And again, this is just from the long-term effects of stroke. And folks, I, I beg, I'm not trying to be a dad or, or dictator or anything like that. For those of you who want to start smoking, don't even start. Because that's, this is what it's going to do to you give you a stroke and make all kinds of hell with you in the long run. My pop's been a smoker for God since he was 16, since 1950. And he smoked all these years. And this is what got him. And this is what led to it. A small stroke which led to other complications which led to a lot of trauma drama here yesterday. It got to a point where he was passing blood in his urine real bad. It got to a point where he was really disoriented and could barely talk, could barely move until the paramedics got here in the home nurse care lady that usually visits him here two times a week agreed with my mom to call the EMS. The EMS got here yesterday about mm, 2, 2 p.m. And um, when they were wheeling him out here, this was it just tore me up. When they got him in the from the, the chair in his room here, as you can see it's made up. He's been sitting in this bed a lot. And um as they were trying to transport him outside, I had to help the EMS. There was only two of them. Um, get his legs on the stretcher folks and it did not look very pretty. I, it tore me up. Um, he went through a seizure state after because he was in so much pain from them moving him. That his eyes just went like this, and he, his mouth, and I, I could not look. It just, it just tore me up inside, folks. And now I got to live with that trauma. But then my, my brother and my mother went down to the ER with them, and I stayed here because, well, I was still messed up on my morning meds. <laughs> couldn't drive yet until after I ate something and I went up there at the last minute my mom and Kirby weren't there they went to the ER my mom started crying they left they came here but my mom right now folks is resting comfortably because she's been going through hell too uh, been treating him non-stop and my mom is just a nervous freaking wreck right now and my mom's resting comfortably in the other room I'm doing okay too but um I went down when I went down to the ER. He was inside one of the ICU units, and they were treating him. They were working on him, and he was still screaming, "Oh, oh!" He was in a lot of pain. Again, muscle. And I'm telling you, folks, this is what a stroke will do to you. Try, if all you can, to avoid having him, man. Because it also made a hell of life of my stepmother too, who passed last year from it. She was bedridden for eight years. And, you know, right now my pops is stabilizing. He's in a still weakened state. 
and um, they're going to move him to a nursing home sometime this week. Um, he'll get all the care there. And thank God our insurance has covered it, man, because we worked out a good deal with the insurance company, guys. That's another killer. If, if, you, if your family doesn't suffer, you're going to suffer paying the goddamn bills. And all this can be prevented if you stay healthy. No cigarettes. No fatty foods. Go see your doctor regularly, man. Get those checkups. Go to a charity hospital if you don't have the money or a doctor's office. Um, other than that, I'm just letting y'all know, you know, that um, my spirits have been lifted, that he's doing a little better now. So is my mom and my brother. Uh, like this eye muscle. I remember again, I have Bell's palsy. See, I can't move this. From back in 1997, exactly 16 years ago, 17 years ago, God. <laughs> but um, I love all of y'all. Thank y'all for the well wishes and everything like that. And I'll let you know how he's doing in the long run. Maybe even do a vlog if he's feeling up to it later. All right. Peace, love. Till next time.